Hey, what's going on, everyone? David Lynn 05 here. Bienvenidos una vez más a mi canal. Here with the last location for the Blasphemous DLC Strife and Ruin. I'm gonna be actually. Sh I'll be starting in Alvido. I'm going to make my way to the Mercy of Rins. This is where you face the boss, Ken Piedad. For this, you need two items. One of them is optional. The first one, the optional one, is the gas protection item. But if you have enough HP, you don't really need it. But what you do need, and most importantly, is the relic called Neo and Prot from Dirt. You get this when completing the Redento quest. I have a video on that quest. I will leave a link in the video description if you guys want to check it out. This relic lets you jump on mud water. And if you don't have this item equipped, you're never gonna make that jump to the edge to reach the secret room. It is mandatory you have this relic equipped to reach the room, to reach the secret room, to play the DLC. And there you have it. This is an awesome 8-bit arcade style quest. You only need one credit. You can continue as much as you want, but not from the beginning. No, but from where you enter a new area, you can start there in case your character dies. Your main goal is to find five skulls hidden to get the reward. If you don't, you will only get a few tiers. I'll be sh showing you guys the location of each of the five skulls plus a few treasure chests I found. Okay, the first one is here close to this flower base. You just need to jump a little bit so the treasure chest will appear. There you go.
If this video helped you out any way possible guys, please make sure to hit the subscribe button or drop me up a like or a comment. What are your thoughts about this new DLC for Blasphemous 8-bit style arcade quest? The second skull is located in the stairs, just break a few of them. Alright everyone, the third skull is located on the left of this wall where you start this, this new area. Now the fourth skull is located in a block just at the end of this ride to the right side. You really need to somewhat act quickly to get this skull.
The fifth goal and final is located on the right side of this fake wall when you enter this area. You just need to break the wall, walk a little bit, and the treasure chest should show up. And there you have it, all five skulls. Now you just need have to be very patient and defeat the boss, which is very easy. Alright guys, this is Devilink signing up. Awesome, you made it to the end of the video. If you'd like to see more gaming and manga videos, please make sure to subscribe and have a great day.